What's going on YouTube? It's your boy King Kilo and we back again with another sneaker. And as you guys can see, we got that Mambo symbol on the top of the box, man. So you know it's a Kobe shoe. So let me go ahead and open this thing up so you guys can see what we got today. Whew, man, we got some heat, man. As you guys can see, man, we got the Kobe 4 Procho Girl Dads in that bi-coastal colorway, man. This shoe has been on my radar since the official images have dropped, man. And as you guys can see, that chrome finish on the back with the Kobe signature, ooh. Hey, man, this shoe is hard, but I ain't gonna talk too much details right now, but let's go ahead and get into review, man. Let's get it. So y'all, y'all already know what to do, man. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. But let's go ahead and get into this box real quick before we jump right into the shoes. As you guys can see, you got that mamba insignia on the top of the box along with the scales that come all throughout the entire box actually as you guys can see front to back and then let's go ahead and get into that sizing tag right here as you guys can see kobe 4 pro tro by coastal black by coastal nor and it's a size 13 men's 14 and a half women's and let's go ahead and open that thing up you guys see that paper man paper generic paper no extra laces or anything and you guys see that quality control sticker man you guys know these are not no reps these are the real thing i hit these on the sneakers app man and i was super excited that i hit i never hit on kobe's for real so it was uh extremely exciting so let me go ahead and get into the shoes now showed you guys that pan over of the shoes but we're gonna talk about a little bit more detail so look we got this shoe paper that came in the shoes generic shoe paper um you got both of them right here now we're gonna get into the insoles as you guys can see the insoles are actually orange size 13 as you guys can see got the kobe and signature on the back size 13 right there the sticker boom this is the back of the insoles as you guys can see man so you know what I'm saying? I like that hint of orange that they did because it definitely complements the shoe itself. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like when you put them in there. But they're gonna be insoles, so you won't really get to see them that much, but I think that is a cool touch. Now, as I swing over to the shoes, man, and you guys can see these beautiful things right here sitting before my eyes behind this nice Kobe box. Super stoked that I hit on the sneakers app for this shoe, man. I never hit Kobe's, y'all. So it was extremely uh, lucky of me, I guess, because the sneaker app was just blessing me that day. Um, so as you guys can see, man, as we like pan over this shoe a little bit more, you can see it comes in that leather suede and that bi-coastal green colorway. And as you guys can see, this leather suede is like actually pretty nice. You guys can see my finger coming across this shoe real nice, man. So you got that bi-coastal green through the entire upper of the shoe. You have the black Nike swoosh right here, which is also in that kind of suede material. It's not leather, y'all. And then as we go up from the toe box to the tongue, you guys can see you got the black uh, shoelaces with that bicrosal green tongue. You got the gray Mamba insignia stitching on the top of the tongue right here. You guys can see. 
swing that thing around so look, let's go to the back you got that chrome heel tab i think this is my favorite part man of this shoe because like i don't know why it just complements the shoe like very very well so you got that chrome heel tab on the side you can see the kobe signature right there boom you got the 24 on the back as well um let's see you got the white stitching on the insole i took the insoles out to show you guys you got that sizing tag right here size 13 boom I, i'm probably zooming in so i can show you guys that later but then on the outsole you have this like gray it's like it looks translucent y'all but it's not clear it's like a gray uh outsole on the bottom then you got that carbon fiber right here on the side but yeah man same thing on the other shoe as you guys can see man and y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this shoe man was this a shoe that you guys were going for was this a shoe that you uh had on your radar for this year in 2024 y'all let me know because i'm really curious um i saw a lot of people buying this shoe early doing reviews on it um talking about it i don't think anyone played in this shoe or did like a uh like a basketball wear test of this shoe but i think it can be done even though they're saying this is more of a lifestyle shoe than an actual hoop shoe but i disagree but that's just my opinion y'all let me know how y'all feel about that but let me go ahead and do like the sizing tips for you guys and then do an official on feet so we can go ahead and close this video out. So, man, I got these things on for the sizing, man. And I would say that they are a little snug. So there is like definitely going to be no slippage if you guys go true to size. Um, if you guys want to hoop in these things, if you guys want to play in them, maybe go half a size up. But if you guys don't mind it, you guys break them in a little bit. I feel like true to size is probably perfect because they fit. There's no slippage on these. These are these aren't going anywhere. Um, but yeah, man, I would say go true to size. My toe is literally to the top of the shoe and I'm a size 13. So, you know, what I'm saying that's my normal size. And that's what I normally get all my hoop shoes in anyways. Size 13. These do fit different compared to the Kobe Pro Tro 8s. I think those are a lot more snug than the fours. Um, but you know what I'm saying? That's just me. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way. But uh, yeah, the fours fit pretty good, actually. Like, you know what I'm saying? Snug. I feel like I can move around in these. I can stop and go on a dime. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I like these shoes a lot. So let's go ahead and get into that official on feet review, man. Let's get it. saying this is a lifestyle shoe man so y'all may see people rocking kobe's lifestyle and i don't really know how a lot of uh basketball fans feel about that <laughs> but you know what i'm saying they just shoes man at the end of the day but y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that would y'all rock kobe's lifestyle or would y'all strictly use them for hooping y'all let me know down in the comments
so y'all man thank you guys for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video of the kobe 4 pro Tro girl dads please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up on this video comment down below um any questions you may have but that's pretty much it for today's video like comment subscribe on this video y'all king kilo is out peace